I should look for the items Monsieur Poirot needs to read the burnt scrap of paper. Alright, well, uh, while we have free roam again, I would like to go back to the salon car. Because I figured that that's where the drink was probably fixed that Ratchet had on his bedside. So let's see if we can find any clues by the little bar over here. Drawer is empty. Those cabinets are locked. Interesting. Those cabinets. Okay, both cabinets are locked. Hey, look at that. Um, ice tongs. That might be part of what we need for him. Okay, I'm gonna start doing the magnifying glass on problem. everything I find. That isn't. So it seems like a very important mechanic that I had not yet realized. Is there anything on the other side of the counter? Can I turn around? I guess not. Uh, salon car, restaurant car. Okay, next maybe we need to find him a candle. I'm trying to think of what else could be useful for being a consistent heat source. There's heaters in every train car. Why can't you just put it next to that? Alright, let's just get to the restaurant car anyways. You know, I actually got a comment that said that, um... Antoinette Marceau, the, the player character, is actually an addition to this game who is not in the original material, and that she mainly just serves as a, the player character. So that's kind of interesting. I wouldn't have really noticed, to be honest. The decor has a pronounced floral motif. Though I suppose it makes more sense now. Why everything is being done vicariously. Hey, ladies, how we doing? I have more important things to do than chat. Oh, come on, no. Ask him. Ask him if they committed any murders lately. If they lost any handkerchiefs that begin with the letter H. Oh, here we go. Candles. Will anyone notice if I take Sterling one? Sterling silver, of course. Oh, okay. We just took something. Spirit lamp. That might be all we need. Full of fuel. All it needs is a flame, and we have a box of matches. Sterling silver. Sterling silver? Yeah. I have more in... Okay, no chatting, I get the idea. I think that's everything we need. Ice tongs to hold the paper and a little spirit lamp. Back to the front of the train. Actually, what am I doing? Let's just fast travel. I wonder what a speedrun of this game would look like. That'd probably be pretty fun to watch. Okay, this is our room. Oh wait, no, we want to go to Poirot's room, not our room. At least I think so. Hey there, you filthy Belgian. I got your shit. I am having trouble finding all I need to read the paper. Mademoiselle, <sighs> you are having the difficulties obtaining something with which to handle the burned paper? Also the two objects of metal netting and a source of constant heat? Poirot can offer to you suggestions. But we have just made the challenge, you and I. And if I help you, it is a point for me. Do you still wish my help? Well, when you say it like that, you smug asshole, I'm doing it by myself. No, I will try it again, on my own. Excellent. I applaud your tenacity. So we need two pieces of metal netting. What's this? Curling tongs, huh? You're holding out on me, Poirot. You tried to hide it. I am having trouble finding- Okay, well, apparently that's still not everything. No, I... Excellent. So let's get through that. I can't do- Interesting. Oh, do I need to light this first? Is that what it is? The lamp is now lit. All right, the lamp is lit. <laughs> the forge is lit. I don't think that's appropriate. Okay, we don't need to light them on fire. And then, do I have to combine the burnt paper? With the tongs, perhaps? The curling tongs have the burnt paper firmly but delicately in their grip. Okay. Is that all I needed to do? Oh, no, don't shoot, don't shoot Pyro. <laughs> I am having trouble. No, you're Mama not having it. trouble. Stop admitting defeat. No, I... Excellent. Okay, maybe I need to do something with the ice tongs now. So, put this in there. And then... Where did the tongs go? No, for real, where are my ice tongs? Is 
There they are. Now where are they? Oh, they're in my hand now. Great. I can't get them to fit. Maybe I just combine the lamp. Those don't work together. I'm confused as to what we are missing. Salon car. I don't see very much in here. You know, this is kind of a hidden object game, and I normally I don't like want those. To get caught out in the I normally don't like hidden object games, but this one does away has a way of doing it so it feels fair. The environments are consistent, and it's kind of easy to spot when something doesn't belong. That's how I found that pipe cleaner. You know, I just remembered, didn't Michelle say that that scream in the night came from Mr. Ratchet, but he was just fine? And then not long after, he was dead? It's a bit sus, if you ask me. Michelle should be considered a suspect. Everyone's a suspect, to be fair. Except for me. I'm too golden. Hardman? Whoa, we just went into his room? Oh, shit. Oh, we can snoop everything, can't we? I hadn't thought of that. What is this? What did we just take? Typewriter ribbon? What was the most recent thing typed? Looks like it's not used yet. I confess that your logic does nothing strike you okay, as... Okay, just... I guess, but we're taking it, though. Alright, it's snooping time. I hadn't thought we were going to be so forward. Regardez, mademoiselle. Is that a hairpin? Leather sap. Oh, wait, I gotta look at everything in depth. I forgot. Nope, just... Where's my leather sap? Give me that. Often used to quietly render a person unconscious. Oh, it's bigger than I thought. I thought that was like a hairpin. So it's like a bludgeoning tool. Nothing to see. Just some shoes over here. All right. Is Hardman the Englishman who doesn't talk much? I'm not sure which one he is. I won't find any. All right. Who else can I snoop around in? Dragomirov. Oh, we're going into the royal suite. Ooh. What does she have? Ah, that looks important. Perfect. That's something we're gonna need, her little hat rest thing. Yeah, hat frame. Fine wire mesh. Sounds to me like exactly what we're gonna need. And her luggage? This looks like a puzzle box. Ooh. Let me see if I can get it open. Yo, you mean there's puzzles in this game? Whoa. I don't think that's wrong. I can't seem to. Okay, this is gonna <sighs> this is gonna take me a minute. Oh, maybe not that long. I don't think. I can't seem to. All right, we're making progress. I try. That isn't right. Ah, oh, this is frustrating. Oh come on, we were doing good. I don't think. Hmm. That isn't. I am lost. Okay, well we've got the first three steps down. I should get a puzzle box. These seems seem like so much fun. I don't think. That isn't. I don't think. That isn't. Oh, it looks like we're slowly opening it up. I don't think that. I fear that I. Okay, so this goes here, then this goes here, and up. I tried. Okay, and then it doesn't go up. So then I bring this back, and this back, and then this up. And now this comes out again. I don't. I can't see. Not quite. I tried. I am lost. Nothing ever happens on the top. I don't know how many steps there are to this puzzle box, either. Okay, this is where we were last time. Hey, that side goes down. Okay. I don't think that... That's not it. 
Hey, we're open. And now to see what was so cleverly guarded. Nothing. I don't oh. <laughs> normally go about taking everything that isn't tied down, but under the circumstances. Oh yes, there's a murder to solve. We have to pickpocket everyone. What is this? Dragomirov's locket. <laughs> Picture of a young girl inside. She looks vaguely familiar. Is that Olsen? Our roommate? I don't know. They, they both kind of, um... Uh... You know. <laughs> they have a striking semblance to each other. We'll leave it at that. Nothing else to... Okay, how about on this side? I've already... Well, I hope we put that puzzle box back together so she doesn't notice that we just robbed her. Oh, is this the, um... Okay, yeah, we just used the shortcut. The counts. Let's see what they're hiding. This door is tightly locked. Oh, they must still be in together. Okay. Um, Hubbard, maybe? What's that? Button. From the conductor's uniform. We should start looking for everyone's uniforms then, to see if they're missing something. Maybe Michelle's missing a button. Is Hubbard Mary? I don't remember. No, this hat frame will not work. It is not of the proper type. Oh, okay, so... There was some wrong hat frames we could have gotten before. I'll oh. put this into my scrapbook so I can take a closer look at it later. And by later, I mean right now. We just found a letter. Let's go have a read. Is this a scrapbook? Which one's the scrapbook? How do I read it? Where's my scrapbook? Okay, maybe we are just supposed to read it later. Nothing else. I've already... No, this hat frame will not work. Okay, nothing else to see there. All right, I think we've got everything we need, Poirot. I am having trouble. No, we're no, not. No. We found it all. Shut up. No, I. Excellent. Okay, maybe we need to just combine it in our inventory. So. The lamp with the wire mesh. This doesn't seem to work. Cap. Hard cap. Those don't work. Ugh! What is your problem? I can't... Okay, there must be something else. There's still a couple rooms we haven't explored. I am having... Mamwes... No, stop asking no, for help. I... Excellent. Janky hitbox. Uh, that's our room. Schmidt and Debenbaum. Let's try this. Right, that's the WC. I cannot take this one. Okay, back the way we came. All right, what do they have up here? The hat frame must be of wire mesh, a type now out of fashion. Okay, so it's not that one. About Devin Bomb's suitcase. Regardez, mademoiselle. CMH. What is that, a pocket square? Dainty handkerchief. Nothing like the one found in Ratchet's room, yeah. And this suitcase? Quite interesting. What is this? A small latched box. Full of recipes. Hmm. That isn't good. I'm not sure why the that's important or why we took it. I won't do. Nothing else to see nope, in just, there. Just close the box and back away. Anything else of interest in this room? Another hat? No, this hat frame will. Wow, there were a lot of hats on this train, and we found the right one right away. Okay, was this the last room we could explore? Oh, there's another one of these things. I see nothing remarkable. Nothing to see. Okay, just more shoes. 
Schmidt and Devonbaum. Oh, and McQueen. It's locked. Okay, is that the last room? Okay, we've already been in here. What's room? Masterman and Foscarelli. That's a really hard hitbox to see. The door is locked. Oh, but they're inside. Maybe we just needed to find that stuff. Is that all we needed, Porto? I am having. Tr no, not we're worthy. not having trouble. Ugh. No, I. Excellent. Okay, let's just do some stuff in our inventory. See if we can figure out how to put it all together. Oh, wait a second. We never checked our own stuff. Isn't Miss Olson in the? Uh... Maybe Olson has a hat frame. Was she wearing a hat earlier? I don't think she ever wore a hat. I see nothing remarkable. Okay, those are our shoes. Some classic chaussettes chatoyantes. Uh. Yeah, it's we never looked at her luggage. Fast. Oh! The only woman on this train who doesn't lock her suitcase is the one we're rooming with. I don't need anything. Curious. Very curious. Not sure I know how to interpret that yet. Oh. Oh, blind spot. There it is. Finally. Perfect. That was really difficult to find. I spoke too soon about this being a very uh, forgiving hidden object game. That was a rough one. All right. Now to just burn everything once we get it all together. I have everything I need to read the paper. Thank you. That is most pleasing. I have all the pieces. All that remains is for me to assemble them properly. Okay. Um, let's see, so this thing first. Wait, no, maybe not that first. Let's get all these out of the combination, too. No, that isn't right. I must put the paper between them first. Okay. So, paper. Then, lamp. I confess that you're... Okay, how do, where, do, where does the lamp go? My heat source is now in place. Now on to completing the paper holder. <laughs> that's a pretty intense lamp. I, I have a theory that that's just going to immolate immediately. Maybe not, though. Maybe not. I stand corrected. Daisy Armstrong, c'est ça. I now know the real name of the dead man. And I know why he had to leave America. Because his Mr. name was Poirot, Daisy? I have documented that case in my scrapbook. I Wait, remember what? where the case. Ten years ago, Colonel Armstrong was an Englishman. He married the daughter of Linda Arden, the most famous tragic American actress of her day. They lived in the city of New York and had one child, three years old, whom they adored. Two men snatched Daisy from the arms of her nurse maid. The police were convinced that the young woman had some knowledge of the crime and questioned her relentlessly. The enormous ransom was paid, but two weeks passed with no word from the kidnappers. And then there was a break in the case. Two brothers named Perkinson were identified by witnesses and tracked to a farmhouse. Perhaps in New Paltz, New York? The yeah. The Perkinsons were arrested at the farmhouse where they and the woman not identified had been hiding. They were tried and convicted. At their trial, they implicated Cassetti, not only as the mastermind of the scheme, but the man who shot the little girl. The tearful testimony of the Perkinson brothers surprised many, but they admitted their guilt. And in America, the crime carries the maximum penalty. During the sentencing, the Perkinson brothers tried to make the escape. Jeffrey was captured, but not his brother Robert. And Cassetti had vanished without a trace. Madame Armstrong gave birth to a dead child born prematurely, and she herself died. The evening after the double funeral, a broken-hearted Colonel Armstrong returned to the family brownstone on Park Avenue, locked himself in his study, and shot himself. A body was discovered in the New York Harbor shortly after Jeffrey Perkinson died in the electric chair. It was identified by a relative as Robert Perkinson, 
If he was a suicide or killed by Cassetti, hmm, was never known. Cassetti was still at large, seen now here, now over there, and still more tragedy was to follow. The police refused to believe the hysterical denials of the poor girl, hoping she might lead them to Cassetti. In a fit of despair, the poor girl threw herself from a window and was killed. It was proved afterwards that she was absolutely innocent of any complicity in the crime. Oh. Cassetti was the man, there can be no doubt. He had used the same methods in the past, hired men down on their luck to do the dangerous work, but taking most of the ransom for himself, and always killing the victim if the police were closing in. He had many enemies, that one. I cannot regret that he is dead. I agree with you, mademoiselle. Still, it is not necessary that he should be killed aboard one of our trains. There are other places. So ratchet? Indeed. The investigation continues. And we progress, no? And now is the time for the assembling of the evidence. Collect all passports, gather information about our suspects, seek out any clues, follow every possible trail. So you mean to tell me that Ratchet is actually like this mastermind murderer who kidnaps people and then ransoms them? Also, we're on to part two, the evidence. Goodness, it seems to have gotten extremely cold in here. Mademoiselle, the engineer has just informed me. A rock from the avalanche, it struck the undercarriage of the coal tender. The pipe that carries the steam that heats the train is damaged. It must be repaired, or we will all freeze to death. Oh, shit. Yeah, we, you better get on that, Michelle. Could this be coincidence? Either way, I'd better look into it immediately. Oh, that's right. We work here, too. Damn it. All right, well, what next then, Michelle? We're just going to death? <laughs> like, you're just going to go sit there and die? Oh, we can ask for a key. I would like a key to the baggage car. Please, take one of mine. Why do you have more than one key to the baggage? I often assist with the loading and unloading at the smaller stations. Sometimes I must loan a key to the handlers. That will be enough, Pierre. That was a lot less resistance than I expected from him. Okay then. <laughs> so uh, we can go to the baggage car now. I remember that Ratchet was going on about there being a uh, freaking... What do you call it? Having some statue loaded when he first boarded the train, or whatever Ratchet's real name is, if we're to believe that he's actually this, uh, psycho killer. Oh, hey, people. This is, a uh, Fiscarelli, right? Uh, how can I talk to you when my, my teeth, they, they, ch they chatter so? Okay, so he's just cold. Cool personality trait. <laughs> uh, is there anyone else out and about? Maybe we can go check his car now, because I know that he was locked earlier. Counts are here. What's up? Surely there is something someone can do to get the heat working again. Yes, we're working on it. I'm sorry. I'm much too concerned for my wife's health to speak with you now. We must find a way to get the heat restored. Okay. Okay. I'm on it. Um, hey, is this, is this Mary, the one who's our friend? An avalanche, a murder, and now no heat. An unlucky journey for us all. Hmm. I'm still, I'm still piecing together the faces, but I think that's the one that we're friends with. Could be wrong. Okay. What am I doing? I can just fast travel, can't I? Alright, I'm already in the restaurant car, so it doesn't matter. Is there anyone else in here? Oh, who's this? I beg your pardon, mademoiselle, but could we talk at another time? Okay, I forget which... I forget his name. I don't know if we've met this one yet, but he's another... Employee. Okay. Uh, key? Door. Let's go. Ooh, animation. The key worked! Oh. <laughs> I thought, like, something was going to go terribly wrong or something. Like we were triggering a bomb. But I guess that's just a standard cutscene for opening doors in this game. Okay, so... These goods are being shipped. They do not belong to anyone currently on the train. Okay. Um, 
So I guess we're not going to find anything important it in them. It looks like these contain vegetables, which comes as a bit of a surprise considering Klaus's penchant for flesh. <laughs> Klaus. These goods are being shipped. You crazy German man, you. How about this suspicious crate? Two pairs. Two pairs of what? Mademoiselle, up there. The lid, it is secured with four nails. Ah, so we're gonna need a crowbar or a hammer. I see. How about over here? Um, Quite what? interesting. Am I in the sauna in White Wolf? What is this? Quite interesting. No, there's nothing interesting. You're mistaken, Poirot. It's just a piece of wood. Is this the, uh, our manifest It's the here? cargo manifest. Yeah. It shows that three casks were loaded in Belgrade. One of olive oil, one of honey, and one of vinegar. It also mentions a special security package that was loaded in Istanbul. Special security package? Is Freddy it's Fazbear in this crate? It's the cop. No, put, put that away. What does that mean? I've heard of this honey. It's reported to be quite good. Salonica olive oil, a keg of Greece's finest. Hmm. A keg of white wine vinegar. What is it? What does a special security package for a train do? Like, does that mean there's like defense weapons in case we get like hijacked? It looks terrible out there. Sure does. Weather in Cleveland doesn't feel too different. Right now. This seems to be a security door. It certainly lives up to its name. It's locked. 